Hello everyone and welcome back to another great super cool radio interview. I'm your host as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before I start talking about my guests, just a quick reminder to like this video and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any super cool radio interviews or episodes. I have a really great guest who will be joining me momentarily. He is the founder of metal band Pattern out of Mexico. In this interview, we discuss the new EP, Undivine Trial, performing at Kill Sound Productions, Metal Days Warm Up, and so much more. So let's dive into this interview. Let's go. Before we jump into the show, I want to tell you about our merch store on Threadless. Shop a wide variety of logos with multiple colors and sizes available for each design. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to make killer content like this episode. Please visit supercoolradio.threadless.com or the link in the description to shop now. I have a really great guest joining me at this time. He is the founder of metal band Pattern. Please welcome Francisco. Hello to everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. It's very nice to have you on the show. Thank you much for the invite, and I hope, uh, well, we get along. <laughs> oh, for sure. Everything's going to go very well. Uh, so obviously, we got a lot to discuss. Obviously, the new EP that was released earlier this year. But before we get to all of that, uh, for you, uh, before Pattern, how did you get started as a musician? Well, I started playing guitar at, a, at a six years old. Uh, I began listening to Amstein and Payne, Tommy and Catillo, bands like that. So, yeah, those were my input uh, from, from the first inspiration I got. Later on, my brother introduced me to thrash metal or heavy metal bands, Sodom, Testament, uh, Creator, Destruction, bands like that. So, yeah, <laughs> those, those were my beginning inputs. Oh, very nice. Very, very great influences and stuff. Uh, so like, what, what drew you to the uh, to the thrash metal sound? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, my brother really gave me that, uh, that introduction. Uh, I went my own way. Uh, but to be honest, I moved on from thrash since uh, years, years ago. So I moved from to death metal, to melodic death metal, uh, to doom metal, things like that. Oh, you know, got, gotcha, for sure, for sure. Uh, so I, you know, I said I did want to talk about. So, uh, so obviously, you said your brother, uh, you know, big influence on your your music growing up. So, how about uh, for you now, uh, as you're older, uh, what was kind of the more like uh, influence on your style of music? Well, I will say, Steve Winston is is the most uh, influence I have right now. You know, uh, all the progressive projects he's working on is just amazing. I mean, a lot of fans don't like what, what sometimes he's doing. But I really love everything he he, he writes, he composes. So yeah, that's that's my biggest input input right now. Very nice, very nice for sure. So uh, so now uh, from my uh, from my understanding, from what I've read about Pattern, uh, so it started in 2015. Uh, so uh, how how was it like forming uh, the band Pattern? Well, it, it was really complex, you know, because uh, there were some times that we didn't uh, found the people. Of the right people that wanted to be part of break at the end or they have some personal issues that were involved very or well were not good uh input for the band in the moment so we've been transforming this project from a thrash metal to another kind of music or a more open kind of music you know with ACP it's really dead metal or really dead thrash metal but at the end we uh, have several uh influences on our and every every people on our own we are in uh, participating in the world, so we want at the end to to move to that way. So yeah, <laughs> no, I, I got you for sure. So, uh, so obviously you, you have uh, um, the current lineup. Uh, how did um, how did you guys meet? Well, uh, well, the current lineup has changed from what I thought you received. Um, the the previous one of the EP a lineup was me and the guitarist Jorge. He, we met on a messenger chat uh, several years ago. We were looking for a new guitarist, and he, he replied. He sent us some videos, and we love how he played. 
and Erich Vivas for the other way in the other way he I met him several years ago we had a cover band of uh, classical bands like Slayer and things like that and then we we decided to move on and, and create our own music and that's it <laughs> those, those were the members and the current lineup well I have we have met uh, Rob our official new drummer uh, just in the weekend, and uh, we I think we, we we did a great team this weekend, uh, and we love how 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 he worked, and we have this new guy Javier Calete on on the bass, and he he really is is it's nailing it, he's he rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm very happy to hear that uh, you know the members you uh, you have right now are working out uh, very well for you. So and I I did want to talk about so obviously. Pattern was a part of the uh, Kill Sound Productions uh, Metal Days warm up on yeah. uh, March third. Uh, how did how did all that go? How was that experience? Well, it was really um, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, we haven't played live for only, uh, several years ago. We haven't played in front of a lot of people. You know, we we, we get used to play for five or six people on, on every show, uh, five or six years ago. But now with this uh, with this Metal Days up uh, warm up, we we really we really, uh, I think, that meet new people, and you know the bands that we, we, who we share a stage with are, are great. So I think that was something, something really great, something that I think it deserves, it deserves to be lived, or it deserves to be joy, enjoyed. Oh, definitely for for sure, especially with that um, very great experience, as as you said. And I do hope uh, you get more of that kind of you know the the bigger crowd uh, you know um, uh, performances uh, for you guys in pattern. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> we hope the same. Of course, of course. So that does kind of lead me. So obviously the uh, the new EP uh, Undivine Trial, I believe that was released uh, earlier this year. Uh, so how was it uh, for you, like writing and recording the new EP? Well, I think it was an easy process in a certain way. I mean, we have these songs uh, recorded and stored on our drive, so like <laughs> several years ago too. So then we we decided with the pandemic, we decided to to move on and you know to to make noise and to to begin this project again. You know, we have this this project since that time, since 2015, and we had another name. You know, but we decided to have to release this EP with a new name, with everything kind of new. So to just to improve or you know to have a new mindset to the to to release it, and it was easy because I mean we have you know this equipment and really it makes easy to us you know like send audios audio files to each other and we can share thoughts about how we like it or how we, how can we change the, the 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 songs you know that so that was the process and with the drums we had you know these uh, drum machines. Uh, programs on um, like addictive drums or easy drummer, and we and we just send that to a drummer in Argentina that really uh, help us and really put his uh, influences on the music. And I think that he, he nailed he nailed it, and the music he, and the music is the proof of it. Oh, definitely it helps that you know, technology has advanced you know so much that you guys uh, you know obviously have taken full advantage of that with being able to you know communicate digitally and to record digitally, especially throughout the pandemic. So uh, I'm I'm very glad uh, you guys uh, had, uh, had 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 a great experience with uh, writing and recording the CP. Yeah, yeah, it was great. So uh, you said so you had some demos uh, previous demo. Was any of that used for the new EP or anything that influenced the new EP from those demos? Well, those demos were most part of the music, but with the thing we integrated now is some synthesizers, just to give more expansion in the, in the music or in the in the noise that we wanted to make, you know, uh, to make it more ambientalistic in a certain way. Uh, yeah. I got you. I got you for sure. No, it's just so cool. You know, obviously, um, you know, you know, previous stuff. How you can kind of get uh, influence from that, and uh, you know, kind of incorporating that into new music as well. So it's cool how that happens. Yeah, yeah, totally, for sure. So uh, I do know there's some uh, some different themes throughout this whole EP since I, I've had the opportunity to listen to it. Uh, so what what are the themes that you wanted to present in Undivine Trial? Well, uh, I think that the most important topics are, well, there are four, three topics, sorry. The first one is uh, anti-religious things, you know. We think that religion sometimes kills society, sometimes uh, 
gives people uh, lies to believe on and in disgrace for disgrace people believe in that lies you know and uh, the other topic that we we selected is you know the animal brutality or how some people really damage animals innocent animals and uh, and you know we really don't like that kind of people you know <laughs> and at the end with i think that we all kind of expect in that in that in that or or you know we we look at those videos on internet and yeah we we react in a really um, bad way but at the end we are consumers or we're consuming it and i don't like it or we don't like that that, that way of thinking and the other one is just something more related to auto depressive over depressive depression uh sometimes you know those kind of topics related to suicide and things like that Oh, for sure. Very, very real uh, themes and topics that many people face, you know, uh, it's very relatable, uh, you know, throughout the whole world, you know, as you said, with depression, animal abuse, uh, you know, believing lies, uh, all that stuff. It, it's very real and it's uh, very relatable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the point, you know, that people can relate our music to their experience of life and they can, you know, have the opportunity to release their anger and to release their, their fury or their how they feel in, in real life with the music. Oh, exactly. It's uh, you know, music's able. Uh, they can express their emotions that uh, you know, they might not be able to express in other ways. That's you know, that's yeah. a huge benefit of music. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, I, I did want to talk. So like, um, for for you, obviously, you said you've uh, you had the opportunity to perform live. Um, you know, for uh, Kill Sound Productions Metal Days warm up. So uh, for these songs, like, um, how was it like preparing uh to present these songs to a live audience? Well, to be honest, it was really hard work, uh, you know, because uh, at the beginning, we didn't have any drummer, you know. Uh, we we kind of tried to use uh, backing tracks in the drums, but at the end, we didn't find it uh, too true <laughs> to the audience and to us, to be honest. So for the three weeks uh, that have passed, I uh, have been looking drummers as a crazy people, as a crazy man, you know, sending message to everyone I, uh, I can, you know, I, I, I will say that I have a happy burn, a stock people just to send a message and, you know, if they can, or if they wanted to be the drummer of the band. At the end, we have found Rob, the drummer, uh, on the, the last week, and we couldn't rehearse on the weekend before this weekend, so we just rehearsed all the songs like for two days, you know, Wednesday and Thursday for the last week. And with that, I think that we, we achieved a really something, something great, you know. So it was like something that we didn't experience before too. And it was really, really great, you know, because at the end, he's a professional drummer. So that, 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 that really helped us, you know, to, to make feel sure about what was happening behind, uh, behind the guitars, behind the bass. And uh, the at the end, he he make an explicit work in that part. Oh, for sure. I'm I'm glad everything worked out very well for you guys. But having that that level of professionalism in that drummer, you know, you didn't have to worry too much about uh, you know, about his parts because being a professional as he is, that he had it covered. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we feel really happy. We enjoyed every moment, and it was um, something really really great. Definitely, for sure. I saw some uh, some photos and videos from uh, from the show as well. It looked like uh, you guys had a really great time, uh, and it looked like uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, so, it was. It was. <laughs> so I'm glad all the you know, as you said, you had a lot of pre preparation uh, to to go into it, and I'm glad that it all worked out very well. Yeah, yeah, me too. When we, we were we were just like uh, he blew our minds, and we we were really happy with him. And yeah, <laughs> so he's the new official drummer. <laughs> I am. I'm very, very glad all around for uh, for him and for you guys that you know. Obviously, it worked out very well, and he's going to be uh, the official member for you guys and to continue to work with you guys. I think that is really awesome. We hope the same. <laughs> so I did. I did want to talk about so the uh, Undivine trial uh, real quick. Is wrap up the talking about this EP. We talk about some, a few other things as well. Uh, for anyone who hasn't like listened to it, what can they expect? Uh, you talked a little bit about the themes, but what can they expect, like musically, from Undivine Trial? Well, uh, I don't know how to how I could put this in in words. You know, I will say that uh, you will experience something a bit different of what you listen about metal. You know, 
we are get used of these kind of metal bands that are rude, that are, you know, that they have this image of uh, things that are commonly used in metal, you know, that toxic things, zombies, uh, gods out on, or from women or men and things like that. And with this EP, we are going another way, another direction, you know, so from the art to the music, we are expecting the people to feel different in a certain way of the, of the music that they are listening. So expect something different, not not totally different from what you would expect of a normal band, but something different. Oh, definitely, and uh, you know, again, as I've had the opportunity to listen to the EP, and it, it it's you know it's similar, you know, it has a, a the metal sound to it, but you guys put a you know a different a different spin on the on the music, like as you said, you know, uh, about a lot of metal bands with the way they kind of go with their music, you guys took it into a different direction while still implementing similar elements uh, of the style of metal music. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we wanted to get, to get to that direction. Definitely, for sure. And you guys definitely did achieve that. And uh, so the artwork, as you mentioned, uh, looks beautiful. I, I really like how it all looked. It really uh, matched the, the themes and the style of the music. So uh, how was it developing the artwork? Well, we had a, uh, an idea, a concept art. Uh, we know we use just sticks and circles in, in a paint uh, <laughs> uh, canvas. Um, but we decided to use, uh, well, to get in contact with a uh, a person, a girl. Uh, she is Blue Cafeteria. She's an artist, a digital artist here in Mexico. She has a comic book, I think. You know, uh, she was introduced by, by me, by my wife, uh, to me by my wife. So we we talk about what we wanted. You know, she painted a picture, like uh, you know this game, Little Nightmares. Uh, he painted a pi she painted a picture. Sorry, that really looked really really awesome and we wanted that from our world from from our artwork you know because it was different you know and that that's the history behind that oh you know it, it turned out amazing uh you know just it again has that uh all the different kind of themes and elements in there uh and plus just very stunning and beautiful with um with all you know it's a little bit intricate with all of it as well so it, it turned out very nice yeah yeah totally <laughs> i really love it that, that artwork <laughs> definitely for sure really it turned out amazing so uh, for, for you guys, uh, you know, I got a couple more questions, then we'll be wrapping this up soon. But uh, for you guys, uh, is there like any like dream bands that you want to open for? Well, personally, uh, I would like to open for Hypocrisy, you know, the, the death metal project of, of, of Peter Tuckerin. I mean, I would really love to open to Steven Wilson, but we don't have that kind of music going on through on, on our style. So... That will be totally impossible. But I think hypocrisy is something achievable in a certain point of our careers. Well, I hope so. <laughs> no, I, I hope so too. I definitely be a, a really great mashup. You know, you guys are you know, both uh, kind of similar sounds uh, with both bands. Well, I hope I hope they can think the same. You know, they, there's something they they need to to select at the end of the day. So we don't have anything to do. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, for sure, for sure. But no, I hope, uh, hope that does happen for you guys. Yeah, I, thanks, thanks for the the wishes, and we, I hope the same. Of course, of course. So, uh, and for, for you, do you have a do you have a favorite song to perform live in front of an audience? A favorite song? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I will say it will be "Trapped in a Rotting World." It's a song that you know it was recorded uh, like too too raw at the moment. You know, I only created with my guitar, some, uh, I recorded it some voice in, on my home studio, my cheap home studio, <laughs> just to be clean, clean that part. Uh, and I love how it sounded. And when we implemented it in, in, the, in the EP, it sounded greater, you know? And when we play it live in, three, the, in, this, in this miniature we had, it sounded really awesome. And I, I feel really, really great of playing that song, particularly. But I will say it's um, it's just so cool, you know, to obviously to perform that uh, the song live that you've you've created that you've recorded, but also to see the crowd's reaction to the song as well. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really great. We loved it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, so uh, for you, so like moving forward with Pattern, uh, what are what's kind of the plans for the um, the rest of this year, twenty twenty three? Well, uh, I, I don't know exactly what are the, 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 the steps for moving forward, you know. I will say we want to release more music, and uh, you know, to 
to put on some new style or some new things that people can listen to and I hope that they can love it. You know, but we are so, we're also looking forward to to write a book. In this case, I have a friend of mine and he's a good writer. He he has several good ideas. And we have been talking with him about writing a book that he can develop and also can be a part of the of a new uh, EP or an even a complete uh, full album. You know, so that that's I think that that could happen this year. And also, we are developing uh, an official video of, of Sarah, uh, the first song of our EP. Mm, sorry, uh, because we wanted and we are using animation. Yeah, I don't think it, I think it's 2D animation. And because we wanted to, to explore more art or to explore more other kinds of art that can be integrated in the project and that can be, you know, am amazing or awesome to, to, to be watched or to be experienced. Oh, that is very cool to, to include uh, different forms of media with the music, as you said, you know, with, uh, with, the, with the book, with the um, using the animation for the to go with the music. I think uh, that's really cool that you guys are exploring uh, those different possibilities with the music. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was really kind of difficult to to find a way. I mean, I mean, at the end, we we are a metal band right now, you know, and but to be honest, I don't feel like a metal guy. You know, I don't. I don't feel like a metalhead at all. I mean, I listen to it. Uh, I love it, but I don't. I don't get, uh, you know, identified with these bands and have this pose of being rude and being powerful and being like that because you know I don't feel that light like way. So we decided to move or to use other stuff, other things that can be used uh, and that can have the same impact to people, you know, and that can enjoy <laughs> watching at it or listening to listening to it uh, as we do, you know. Oh no! Exactly. Like um, you guys have, you know, a different attitude, uh, you know, for uh, for uh, the music, and also the um, that you you're incorporating different things that, as you said, can make an impact with people uh, while still using the music that you have. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's really cool. Definitely look forward to uh, seeing where you guys go with everything, and you know, exploring the different um, you know the me uh, media forms as, as you said. Uh, but definitely look forward to seeing uh, how you guys progress from here. Yeah, we hope we can get we can get a, a great progress from from now on. For, for sure, for sure. So, if, uh, if anyone's uh, interested, where are the best places to find uh, Pattern online and in social media? Well, on Facebook we are like Pattern Devant. On Instagram uh, we are like Pattern dot official dot mx. On YouTube we are Pattern we are like Pattern Band, and I think that those are the channels we use mostly right now. I mean. I, I think that at the end of the month we're going to to begin to use uh, TikTok or, or you know this new social media that I am not get used to it, but I think the other guys will, we can they can handle it. No, I, I got gotcha. you. I uh, I will drop some links uh, for uh, all things pattern in the description of this podcast as well. Francisco had a great time uh, hanging out with you. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by Super Cool Radio. No, thank you for uh, for inviting us. Well, in this case, me and, and listening to what I, what I what I have to say, and I hope uh, you have a great career. Thank you so much. I wish the best and the same uh, to you as well. But as I said, please check out stream and support Pattern. Links are in the description of this podcast for Francisco of Pattern. I'm your host as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. Listen to Super Cool Radio, and remember, stay frosty.